my friends, and welcome back to the adventures of Nazim al Shabaab. We are once again departing Castle Daggerfall, where Queen Abagi entrusted us with the very secret task of traveling to Castle Necromogon to investigate the shenanigans of her mother-in-law, Minisera, widow of Lysandus, whose ghost haunts this city. So we'll travel there now. Find Necromogon. Yes, we will travel there recklessly. A flock of ravens passes overhead, and a wolf howls not far away. We shall investigate the outside for a little while. Indeed, we hear that wolf howling again. This dark atmosphere is very appropriate to a place named Castle Necromogon. I love that name. This place is suitably creepy. Now I should say that off camera I actually did do a little bit of uh, selling of goods. And I discovered that now that the sword singer Nazim al Shabazz is getting a bit more wealthy, he was carrying far too much gold. There was one merchant that had to pay him in the form of a letter of credit. And we decided to go to a bank there in the city of Daggerfall and for the first time open an account and deposit some money. So most of our gold now sits there in the banks of Daggerfall City. Hopefully we can trust them. In any case, let us now enter this very haunting place. to see for now on our map. We'll proceed first to the left. So this is going to be one of those kinds of dungeons, eh? Okay, let's check this area out first. Never mind. Save versus spell. So you have a spider killing a knife blade. Okay. Good. You guys, fight amongst yourselves. fighting. Who has brought in this timber? Completely unworked timber. A lot. Hmm? Now let's see. I'll just want to kick this open. A mere bat. Ah, and I'm now remembering. 
I have forgotten to set an anchor at the beginning of the dungeon. So I'd best do that now. That's funny. I thought I was going to the left. I guess I was going straight ahead from the entrance. Because I'd gotten a little bit turned around. That's fine. And now someone's pursuing me. So our wagon still has a few things in it that we were not able to sell. But, since we're so close to the entrance, we'll take everything. mundane torch for a little while. Hello, spider. Time to practice our archery. Forgot I had to press a key to switch weapons. There we go. Am I hitting you? There we go. Gotcha. back. Wayrest Jewel of the Bay. for a bit. What we're looking for, oh my. <laughs> gotcha. We are looking for a parcel of letters. We don't know exactly the nature of Queen Abaki's suspicions regarding Minasera. She wasn't 
she either wasn't able or willing to fully divulge the nature of the situation. But she clearly wants more information about what Minasera is up to, perhaps specifically with regard to this castle Necromogon that uh, Minasera has been kind of fi uh, financing and uh, supplying with soldiers of some kind. No, I thought I... Okay, I guess I'm hearing more enemies fighting. Or they might be trying to bash through the door. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check things out. How you doing? Silence, huh? I don't appreciate that. Nobody silences me. A lot of night blades here. I wonder if they are the soldiers of which Queen Abaki spoke. Why does Minasera need this type of soldier? Nightblade. Seems very suspicious. Everything about this castle seems suspicious. Concerning. Oh, and we have a portal. That's a bit frightening, but also intriguing. Azino Ashaba is very curious about this. Still enemies around him. better investigate this portal. Here's hoping it doesn't lead to our death. <laughs> oh, I thought clicking it would do it. Maybe I just walk through. 
Nazim is feeling a bit foolish now. It seems that this so-called portal is not doing anything. It's inaccessible to Nazim. Perhaps there's some secret to actually accessing it or passing through it. And Nazim is not privy to that secret. So for now, it's nothing more than a decoration. feature. The sarcophagus. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so I clicked on it and something seemed to hurt me. Oh. And it makes a creepy noise. What strange undead might be sealed in there? And what strange and horrible curse harms those who attempt to open it? Very interesting. So, uh, would you let me rest here nearby? <laughs> would that even be advisable? Probably not, but we're gonna do it. Been nice napping with you. I forgot to put out my uh, torch. I wonder if it's still lit. Yeah, I guess so. Greetings. It's probably another night blade. if I touch this. Well, maybe not. For now, we're not going to fall down into that pit. I think we want to explore this area a bit more. Okay, okay. So here we can drop down to an area we previously viewed near those fallen trees. Quite a bat-ridden castle you have here in the Sarah. Of course, I don't know whether she is actually the uh, primary owner or ruler of this place. She might be serving someone else. Hmm. Oh my. Tapping that skull did something. Hopefully something I won't mind. Let's get rid of this spider. It takes a while to swap weapons, doesn't it? There we go. I think there are settings or mods that you can use to get rid of that somewhat long delay when switching equipment, but uh, I kind of like that touch of realism for the most part. Um, you know, I, I do think uh, it's a bit unfortunate how unrealistically easy a lot of games make it. A lot of our RPGs in particular 
uh, how easy they make it to just switch weapons or even armor right in the middle of combat. You know, that's not realistic at all. Not that everything needs to be realistic, but I do appreciate a certain significant amount of realism. Oh my, we are out of stamina, aren't we? We can't rest here. Or no, no, we're not out of stamina, we're out of magicka. Interesting. I wonder if that happened due to a spell or a curse, something that I had touched, perhaps. There we go. check on my health status. Still healthy, no diseases or whatnot, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, so As well fall down into that pit and uh, explore this area down here a bit more. Oops, <laughs> that's not as graceful as I intended. to delve deeper, he thinks. There we go. That's how it's done. Ooh, this place is creepy. Quite a large ceremonial room. With an altar of light gray stone. At this point, Nazim al Shabazz is a good match for basically any of these enemies we're facing so far. I mean, the werewolves can give them some trouble, but you can usually take them down pretty quickly. Bats, of course, are almost nothing. And rats, of course, but, uh, well, you know, night blades and spiders could be slightly more of a threat, especially to a lower level character. But, uh, we are up to what now? Level 4? We're still relatively low, but we have some great skills. Oh my. We can handle a lot of fights. Oh boy. That's ironic timing. <laughs> so yeah, we can't always manage a fight against something like a werewolf, but sometimes we can. A little bit of luck of the draw, or luck of the dice rolls, 
involved there, of course. Now let's just explore this room a bit more. Blue banners. Try some climbing shenanigans here. Oh, it may be difficult. Oh boy. Ah, we're kind of looking through the ceiling. And what do we see? Oh my. Someone in a cage. Maybe two people in a cage there. Nazim is using some of his magical abilities to peer through the ceiling here. He does have some remarkable talents. Alright. Enough of that. Another smaller altar of uh, dark gray stone in this case, or possibly metal. Ooh, speaking of dark gray, it's quite the statue. Now I'm not enough of an expert in Elder Scrolls lore to tell you off the top of my head whether this is Mafala or someone else. Ooh, something happened. <laughs> when I touched the statue, I think it uh, opened up all those gates to the spiders. Do I want to cast any spells here? Eh, probably not for now. But anyway, as I was alluding to earlier, uh oh, now we better cast free action. Gotcha. Yeah, that spell is very important. Healing. As I was saying earlier. Huh. Oh my. Can I get them through the wall? Sure. Hello there. As I was saying earlier, Nazim is quite skillful with the long sword, and to some extent with the short sword, and other weaponry. As a red guard, he receives a nice bonus to his uh, chances to hit and to evade. So he can do quite well, even at level 4. <laughs> well, Mafala, or whoever you are, your spiders, your little minions, are not so frightening to me. Okay, I'm probably speaking too soon again. Save again. Torch flickers and dies. So does that spider. I think that's all of them. Oh! in a place like this. Now what if I 
touch the statue again. Made an interesting sound. Probably just attempted to open all those doors again. What strange rituals are performed here? And does Minasera take part in them? One of many questions Nazim has. Now let's see if we can rest right here. torture chamber. One of the most unsettling things anyone can ever happen upon. I consider torture to be one of the worst, one of the most immoral things any person could ever do. And that's regardless of circumstance. All right, so I think we found everything there is to see here. Other than whatever is in that adjoining room, so we will check that out next. Climbing didn't quite work out that time. Greetings <laughs> back. So I guess we already entered or somehow revealed what's in here, this room before. Not sure if we've actually been in it, perhaps we were just above it. Ah yes, I remember you. See, I was silenced right now. Of course, silencing doesn't actually take away your magic points. I still don't know what it was that did that to me earlier. But no matter. Let's explore more of this creepy place. I believe I hear a werewolf somewhere nearby. Might we have any hidden doors? Ah, yes, I think there's one next to that skeleton, that coffin along the wall. There we go. Ah! The caged person I saw. Listen, what are you all about? Why have you been imprisoned? What's going on here? Oh my. Who was removing entrails from some poor horse? More strange rituals. If you won't tell me, and you insist on attacking me, I'll simply have to put an end to you as well. 
but it does feel a bit dishonorable. Um, yeah, actually, Nazim is not feeling good about that. No need to end his life, especially when he's in prison like that. How dare you. He doesn't seem to value our mercy very much. Now, there we go. Let's just move on before we change our mind about that poor soul. It's possible that killing him might be putting him out of his misery in some way. We don't know. Okay, so this brings us back into this hallway. Might as well go back to the entrance. Drop off a few things. Explore a different direction for a while. Might be interesting. Why not? This time we'll actually go left for reals. Ooh. Water. Water in dungeons is something... Whoops. Wrong button. Water in dungeons is something we haven't seen much of so far in this playthrough. And in fact, I'm forgetting what I should do as far as my controls. Float up and down, page up, page down. Yeah, I thought, thought that might be it. Let's just make sure. Okay. Of course, we can cast water breathing if we decide to here pretty soon. flickers and dies. Well, yeah. Underwater, that tends to happen. <laughs> oh my. We have a slaughterfish. This might be bad. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and uh, get some water breathing going. Slaughterfish down. Hopefully, just one more to go. Disgusting creatures. Kind of interesting in their own right, however. They're a bit more eel like in their depiction here compared to the slaughterfish of Morrowind, for example. Then there's Arena. The first Elder Scrolls game, which, uh, off the top of my head, I don't think there's really any water-based combat of any kind in that game. None that I can think of. Anyway. Well. <laughs> I might end up wishing that I'd been on that platform 
tables floating in the water. We'll explore a bit more before heading up. A little tempted to cast a light spell, but I don't want to waste magic. Need more water breathing soon. It is a strange sensation somehow receive oxygen from the water around him. And what are these strange noises we hear? We'll go down further for now. Health is getting a bit low. This situation might get dangerous real quick if we're not careful. I don't think I've missed any hidden doors as far as I know. Doesn't look like it. Fall of the Usurper. Caring too much to stay afloat, oh no. That's interesting. Well, we may as well cast recall here pretty soon anyhow. You seem to be in a permanent crouched state, is that? Because of our encumbrance. I hope it's not something buggy. <laughs> so I don't think... Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Resolved itself. What enemies are nearby? They'll rest outside. A huge bat flaps slowly overhead. Hm. We will attempt to set camp in here. This place is a bit more cheery during the daytime, naturally. Enemy is nearby. Hmm? Ah, there you are. Come on. Where'd you go? Maybe they drowned. No enemies. Ah, werewolf. Hello.
not so safe to rest here. Why so many werewolves? There we see Masser rising in the sky. And Secunda, the second moon. I recently made a switch in terms of my sky-related mods. Ah, oh, there's another enemy. I use the Dynamic Skies mod these days, and I was mostly using the nice HD Skies option. You know, the optional HD Skies uh, additional mod file that they provide. It's excellent. But uh, recently I did decide to switch to another excellent mod that pairs with Dynamic Skies, and that is the Dream Sky mod. So, King of Worms, the creator of the Dream mod, has been experimenting with uh, changing some of the uh, attributes of the Dynamic Skies. Uh, he's come up with something that he likes a lot, and uh, I like it too. I think it's good. Um, in its initial stages, I wasn't quite sold on it, but I think it's uh, it's gotten to an excellent point now. Sometimes you get some great effects in terms of the clouds and the lighting, especially at dawn or dusk, and uh, and the moons are looking good. Because that was one issue for me at first. I preferred the way the moons looked in the HD dynamic skies, but uh, but yeah, but now this is good too. Now where exactly do I want to rest? I could perhaps try my luck inside again. Ah, so we have a spider. Hmm? Did Mafala send you? Give her my regards. More enemies. Sleeps interrupted again this time by a bat. Now, what to do? be fun to see. Where does that platform lead? Hopefully all the slaughter fish are still dead. Oh, no. Ah, uh, silly me. I probably shouldn't have, uh, left the dungeon for this reason. I neglected to think of that. No, that's alright. Nazim doesn't mind a bit of a challenge. And it looks like he may have brought back some uh, treasure as well, so that's nice.
There we go. Got some air. Now, hold on a moment. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on here. Can you climb up a bit? Okay. So, yeah, should be safe enough. Okay, this is not good. We can take you on. Or maybe not. Okay, when was my last save? We'll make at least one more attempt here. More like slaughtered fish, am I right? All right, I'll see myself out. Daedra's heart. That's nice. Now, well, I've got water breathing. Is there anything more I want to see around here? Probably not. Oh, I guess there is that area right there. Save that for later. Here we go. I better heal up and stay healed up, hopefully. My blade just died, huh? Do I can damage a bunch of them at once. This is not good. Okay, that's a fool's errand. Nazim is not quite strong enough to handle that many spiders all at once. Not yet. So I will go down one more time. But this time, we will not take the platform. Now, at some point, it might be good to take the platform but try to hop off halfway up. Because that would also be an area we haven't been to. And it looked like that might be possible. We'll see. Slaughterfish. 
think there's one more over there. We'll just ignore him and move on. a spell that allows you to swim faster, but I don't think we know that yet. The sprint key doesn't seem to make any difference underwater, which uh, is fine with me, that makes sense. More or less, I mean, they, uh, you could certainly justify having the key to press to try to swim uh, with more urgency, shall we say. Um, ooh, what have we here? Gotcha. That was a close one. you say. Not anymore. Ooh, leveled up. Six points to distribute. That's nice. Hmm. Okay then. Strength is certainly nice. And just a tad more luck. For now, let's just go with that. Okay then. Ah. Uh, no, I'm realizing I think I forgot to set a new anchor. Let's go back to the entrance, set an anchor, and then perhaps we can explore just a bit more. Maybe make an attempt to go partway up that shaft. But not all the way to the top where they have that spider trap. We'll see if we can manage that.
<laughs> All right, gotcha. Douse the torch, which was somehow continuing to be lit underwater, anyhow. Finally, back to breathing the air, and yes, indeed, that's such a sacred one. Beautiful. I seem to recall noticing a mob that adds some uh, nice flavor to these underwater areas by providing some textures, some sprites that uh, actually were in the original game's files but weren't used much, if at all, in the, uh, in the final released game. So uh, they simply put those sprites to use, or put them to use more, and uh, provided more, you know, strands of seaweed-looking plants and so forth, you know, various things that look appropriate to uh, these underwater areas. Okay, a quick save, and we'll see if we can do this. Case. And I love it too. No, it's not going to help so much. What do we see on the map up here? A couple of doors. And yeah, here is the room part way up that I was referencing. But it looks like it might be very difficult to get off the platform in time. Should be possible, though, in any direction, from the look of things here. Paralyzed. Spider done died. Come on, let's kill the rest. Let's kill the rest of these silly 2D sprites. Nope. Okay then. Let's try again. See, there it was. There's some way. Now, what about. Okay. We're gonna do this again. This time. We will go invisible. And that should be enough to save us. Hello, spiders. Don't mind me. It's just the wind. Also, don't mind this torch I'm lighting. Pay no attention. Go 
of that treasure right there. Enchanted amulet. And a potion recipe. Yellow rose, palm, pure water, sulfur. For a potion of water walking. Okay. I don't think Nazim will ever concern himself with alchemy. But it is a fun option in this game for some people. I keep forgetting to uh, douse my torch before resting. Allows Nazim to breathe a sigh of relief. And after resting in the former spider den, he's ready to continue. getting quite adept at taking down werewolves. So far, no sign of those parchments, which are our main purpose in being here. Is 
tell you what, I'm gonna practice some destruction magic. God. gotten to yet. And that is going in this direction, past those doors. Here we go. Right. Floating light from this light spell casts some amazing shadows on the walls. It's one reason to prefer it over the uh, lighting of a mundane candle or a torch. very long. Gotcha. So now we've seen some of this stuff to the right side of the entrance. Dust. 
prayer beads. Was the lich wearing those prayer beads, perhaps? Who knows? And where will this passage lead? Okay. Ah! This is the area <laughs> halfway up from the water filled zone. Okay. The platform won't ever stop here, it just passes through. Don't seem to have any secret doors. on the walls. Gotcha. You dream of the moon and of a man who is less than a man. Oh no. What's happened? We've contracted lycanthropy. Doesn't that show up in our status here? I'm not super experienced with lycanthropy in this game. Or really any of the Elder Scrolls games, I usually don't play around with that too much. But, uh, interesting, what if we cast Cure Disease? Or is it already too late for that? Seven days left to get back to Queen Abaki with the letters. Okay, I need to decide. Am I going to load a save prior to that lycanthropy, or am I simply going to accept this? I think I'll just continue moving forward. I'm pretty sure casting Cure Disease at this point was still enough to remove those effects that were starting to creep in. Uh, I may be wrong. If so, we'll just deal with those consequences. Uh, it is, of course, possible to cure lycanthropy even after it's fully settled in. Uh, so <laughs> that could be an interesting side quest if that's what ends up happening. Um, like I say, I'm not super experienced with this sort of thing, so I just don't know whether it's already too late or not. We'll find out. Regardless, we better hurry. Can't do too much fooling around. 
We're running out of time. More lycanthropes. And you guys are a bit troublesome. Your dead brethren, you will soon join them. I will not become one of you. Going to light a torch and see our enemies a bit more clearly. Speaking of the realism that I mentioned earlier. I suppose it is a bit funny, the idea that, that I can quickly light a torch in the midst of combat without too much trouble. So, <laughs> anyway, um, alright, we survived. I was thinking I heard a strange noise there, like of a block moving or something like that, but it may have just been... I don't know. I'm not sure what it was. Douse this. And rest up again. Still have seven days left. Queen Abaki wants me to follow her mother-in-law, the Dowager Queen of Daggerfall, to her fortress, Castle Necromogon, to see what becomes of the parcels of paper Old Minasera has been bringing there. I have only seven days left to go back to Abaki with the letters. She has promised me more information in return for this. Okay. carry on. Oh my. Hopefully you are the last werewolf here in this particular area. Nope. No such luck. Ocean of Heal True Recipe, okay. A fair amount of loot here, but still no sign of parchments. Other than recipes for potions, about which as he carries a little. So what did that do?
Just a bunch of werewolf dens, it seems. Interesting and dangerous spot, but uh, seems to be nothing else to it other than that loot which we gathered. Well, that switch, that may have done something important, actually. Here's hoping. came from, right. It really can be easy to get a bit lost, a bit confused, a bit turned around, and, <laughs> you know, especially uh, uh, once you've revealed a whole bunch of the map, it can sometimes be a little bit confusing figuring out exactly where you came from and where you want to go. Um, There was this area here. Where we had three interesting paths. None of them yet explored. So the question is, which way first? Stay on this level for now. Another potential portal. But for now, let's check out this room. Mm. Uh, let's see. Nazim musters his courage again. It seems like portal. Whoa! Hello. Did touching the portal cause this doorway to appear? Because I didn't notice it before. Was I just... <laughs> ah, because it's a secret door in this one. So no, I don't think it had anything to do with touching that. I think uh, this character may have just opened it for us all of a sudden. Perhaps thought they would take us unawares. But one does not easily defeat the likes of Nazim al Shabaab. Strange room. Strange floating candelabra. 
doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Well, Nazim doesn't like it, but we better rest here in this. Well, actually, no, we don't need to rest yet. We'll just keep going. Scenario we've already been to, maybe not. Just looks similar. Yeah, it looks very similar to that room right over there. I do not want to become one of your kind, nor eaten by them. No, thank you. I suppose being eaten by them would be another way to become. <laughs> One of their kind, so to speak. All right. So. No, don't die. Don't die. Gotcha. That was a close one. Got to douse my torch. Yeah, that noise I sometimes hear seems to occur near doorways. It might be just some lingering door opening sound or something. I'm not sure. You know, perhaps a, a slight bug in the game, but nothing major. So that's it, huh? Back we go. of the castle, perhaps have some more potential relocation for the parchments. Those bones don't seem attached to any strange curse or trap or anything else. Oh, hello. Nazim is really hoping we can finally find those parchments or some other bits of evidence or information that could aid being up key. Time is running out, but for one reason or another, Queen Abaki cannot wait too much longer for some valuable insight into what's going on here. And what Minasera has been up to in general. It's still strange to me that 
Lycanthropy didn't seem to ever show up as a uh, health condition. Would it have shown up prior to the dream? I'm not sure. But probably. Now here, this might be a wrap. But, uh, I don't think it's one I killed. Maybe, uh, I don't think we've been there. Might be... Huh. Might be a wrap that was slain by a werewolf such as that one. Hello. Do we dare risk this? I'm gonna take you down by bow and arrow. Well, now you're even vulnerable to mundane arrows. Very steep stairs. Gotcha. Our arrows back. This hallway is interesting too. Huh. Ah, yes. So we may have explored part of this. Seen it's um, there we go. Who's in here? Oh. Ah, a rat, a rat in a coffin, feasting on some poor corpse. So we haven't been down there yet. Huh. Which way to go? And you have options. You know, once again, stick with high ground. But not fully up here. Hmm. Secret doors. 
these types of RPGs more interesting. and dominoes. Let's rest up. Enemies. And it says we have six days left. It'll we'll probably take a couple of days to travel back there. Really getting dangerous. So, how about this direction? And what do we have there? Werewolf, I presume. Hello there. Strange beast. One who has suffered a sad fate. Me down here. So I'll try to climb up.
parts here we haven't explored yet. Sources. Might we have parchments here? Please. No. Other items of interest, but not the documents we seek. Switch. How far back dare I go in these safe files? change. I should resort to looking up some info about how to get to my target. I'd rather not have to redo a significant part of this quest or anything like that. Um, of course, this also might be one of those kind of optional, uh, optional quests that are sort of tied to the main quest but aren't 100% required. You know, they're. Uh, they're here kind of to offer a little more information, a little more flavor, but still ultimately optional. I think this is one of those. In any case, where would it make the most sense for me to go next? places.
I mean, if this were real life, of course, there would be some risk that the documents are no longer here or have been destroyed. Any number of possibilities. But I believe they should be here somewhere. Just in case, I will do a little research now to make sure I'm not overlooking something crucial. Alright, well I did a little bit of research and uh, it turns out that the quest item can be at one of a number of random spots. Um, well, I shouldn't call them random spots, but it will randomly choose one of them. And I've probably already been to a few of them. The only thing to do right now, I mean, I, I don't want to go through the trouble of, you know, really analyzing where each of those spots are. There is information about that on the UESP website, of course, but, uh, but yeah, I don't want to get into uh, all those details too much. I'd, I'd rather just uh, continue searching areas like such as here, where I clearly haven't fully explored yet. And uh, I should be able to find it, if I really do get desperate. Which will be pretty soon. I can use a console command to teleport right to it, and teleport out of here. And I can justify that as being part of uh, Nazim al innate magical abilities that are slowly beginning to manifest more fully. Sometimes in unpredictable ways. So, from here, gosh, what is the best way? Well, as Nazim al is contemplating this and feeling the stress, the pressure of needing to find it soon. I am going to go ahead and use that console command, and we'll just see where this takes us. Well, I better save again first, just in case. Okay. So here we are. Now let me see. Enough, I think. Um, yeah, I think this is a room I hadn't been to yet. I don't really recognize that. It's probably just all revealed now because I can see it now, having been teleported here. But I mean, had I already been up there? Huh. I must have been close to here before. I seem to be a little bit stuck. Here we are. And sure enough, we have the parchments lying here on these shelves. The letters are badly burned, but some words can still be read. So sure enough, there happened an attempt to destroy some of them. Now then. Time to get out of here. Nazim al is a bit surprised and uh, perplexed. He does not know how he managed to somehow teleport himself to this location. The grim location of torture once again. But yeah, Nazim has no idea how, in the first place, he could have 
the clairvoyance, the magical clairvoyance, to know the location, and then to be able to teleport there. Well, let's hop over this spider. So I, yeah, I must have been near here before. Now, which way to go to get back to the exit? I could, of course, teleport there. Uh, in fact, I can do that without console commands. And let me just take another look here. Is there anything here? Well, so yeah, if I go down, then there is that one additional area here that I noticed where I had not yet explored. I guess there may be some area down there as well. I think that's more than just a pit. I think there's a tunnel down there. But uh, for now, let's just go over here. We'll do a tiny bit more of exploring. And Nazim is wondering. That act of magical teleportation, which he somehow managed without even knowing he could do it, or how he did it. He wonders, will he ever be able to do that again? Will he perhaps somehow learn to understand that ability and control it and use it at will? He's not sure. So that, anyway, so that seems to be all that was over there. And the entrance is right over there. But perhaps just briefly. go down here as well. Oop, that didn't work out. I'm still not the best at uh, using this game's climbing ability. Uh, I do have the option selected for some enhanced climbing abilities. So I can climb sideways on walls. I don't remember if that's part of the default game's climbing ability, but also it allows you to uh, even kind of climb along the uh, ceilings. Now, of course, if your skill is a bit low, that can be very uh, that can be very dangerous, but uh, it is doable. And as Nazim's abilities increase, and as my familiarity with the uh, Climbing controls increases. That should open up a lot more possibilities for smooth exploration of places like this in this game. Um, so that will lead up to an area we've been. Let's briefly check out this area. So this is new. We have a secret here. Very nice. Oh, can't carry any more stuff. Is that so? Bat, how did you fly through that door as it was opening? That seems impossible. This thing has high value. Is there anything I want to get rid of? For it. Wow, the holy tomes are really worth a lot. Books in general are worth quite a bit. 
Now I could... Uh, rare symbol, prayer beads. These aren't worth quite so much. So let's see. So the issue is not incumbent, I think. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, these statues weigh quite a lot. Um, 15 kilograms, dang. Well. As I said earlier, Really desperate for gold at this point, so no need to sweat that. Let's take another gander here. And, well, ah, yes. So that spot, that's where that platform came up at the very beginning. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, we had never to get advantage of using that. I suppose if we're being very completionist, we could drop off stuff in the wagon and come back to get that statue. <laughs> I do tend to be a little bit of a completionist sometimes. Not too much, I hope. Oh yeah, let's actually read this thing that we received. The parchment. First page. Been from thee too long, my heart doth. Second page. Who loveth my lips, I forget the words they breathe. Third page. She doth suspect you cuckold her, and I worship and adore all parts of thee, but thy hollow crown and thy hollow wedding ring, those two empty circles that trap and bring thee pain. Can I be so vain to be Lysandus Medora evermore? That part's a little bit confusing, a little unclear. I, you know, I read this says can, but I'm not sure what letters, if any, were before that. Can I be so vain to be Lysandus Medora evermore? Body and sip nectar from thy hand, love mm, forever. Does it say Medora? Interesting. Fourth page. Erts, maybe Orts. But they did assume the worst of the settlement, even after all the stallion Orts have been killed and the straw. For mare Orts are seldom weaker than stallion Orts. Gosh, the way some of these people talk about Orts. In an only old and sick remained in the rude camp, called the camp, who could speak base Cyrodiilic, plead and begged for mercy for the children, almost cried and begged for mercy for the children. But Prince Clyus said that the children would grow strong and hardy, and only an unwise leader would show mercy to the subhumans. Ooh. He gave his men leave to make sport with killing the children, and they were all murdered in ways that I cannot pen. I witnessed it, my lady, and though I beg your pardon, your father did great evil. The, the shame of mine that I didn't say no, shame to all. And a fifth page shall abandon my responsibilities. You and together the rest of the world be damned. Let me put this betony behind. I shall crush them at Kringain during death. No one will suspect that a king would give up. Okay. Interesting. A lot of interesting intrigues revealed there. Uh, some of which will mean a lot more to Queen Abagi than it does to me. Um, Alright.
Let's quickly run back. Get that statue. I know, it's a little bit silly of me. It's partly the role-playing aspect, honestly, for me. That, uh, I feel like in this instance, the Nazim would go back for that item of potential interest. Okay then. A strange silence envelops you until a wolf howls not far away. And let's see. We'll save here as well. He wants to briefly explore this area a bit more thoroughly. I guess he did. He did already check out some of this area before, didn't he? Here lies so and so. Now, I don't recall, can I levitate? while on horseback. We have a catapult here. Yes, I can. We have us a floating horse here. Very nice, huh? Another entrance into the dungeon. Interesting parapets here. Another door. Very interesting indeed. Pacified Nightblade using Streetwise skill, that's nice. So, okay, so I think it just, yeah, <laughs> those additional entrances just uh, take us uh, to the same entry point. Not entirely ideal, but not entirely unwelcome either. Uh oh, might need to kill this guy before I can fast travel. Gotcha. Acrobat. Why were you coming after me? Come on. What is this? Well. Without further ado, let's head back to Daggerfall. Days time. Three days if we go cautiously. We can do that, so let's go ahead. Play it safe. A rainy morning. You're approached by a young page who smiles in recognition and does not ask your name before he hands you a letter addressed to you. To all of your questions, he merely responds with a blank look and a smile. Interesting. Let's have a gander at that letter. Oh, that's not the one. This one. Nazim al -Ashabab. Greetings and salutations. I hope your trip was uneventful. They say that you are keenly interested in the haunting of Daggerfall. My father and King Lysandus were somewhat close. Should you come visit me, I might be able to shed some light upon recent events involving Lysandus. Prince Lotun of Castle Sentinel. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we might be heading back to Sentinel soon. 
In the meantime, pardon me, madam. We shall head back to Castle Daggerfall and conclude today's play session. By the way, many thanks to all of you who are watching. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Please do give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. And consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. That supports my video production and my indie game development under the name of Golden Drake Studios. I've got some exciting plans. Uh, things that will be coming to fruition relatively soon. So keep an eye on all that. All are free to petition, uh, to petition His Highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chamber, lest ye have royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the king and queen, and above all, cast no spells while within these walls. Do ye agree with these terms? Yes. So here we are. Back again. Greetings, King, and Queen Abaki, a word. How very sad. To be honest, this is not what I expected the letters to contain. Poor Minasera. Everyone at court knows that her husband, the late King Lysandus, preferred the face and form of another woman to her. But she still attempts to hide all evidence of it. Her loyalty to Lysandus is almost as great as his foolish loyalty to the Emperor. And those poor little children. How dreadful the butchery of the innocents. We know of the barbarism of the orcs, but surely they did not deserve that. Hardly surprising that Minasera did not want to know that her father was responsible for such a grotesque enterprise. Well, I thank you, Nazim, for your valor and your discretion. Please accept this small token of my esteem, not as a payment, but as a gift. May Kinnereth bless thee. Four hundred and five gold. Well, thank you very much, Queen. And good day to you, King. We'll speak again soon, I am sure. But for now, that is definitely enough for one day. So as I said earlier, thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more. Consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake and until next time, be excellent to yourself and everyone around you. Enjoy whatever adventures your own life brings here in this mundane world of ours. And I will see you next time.